Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Billy Nelson's just told me the biggest Celtic fan in Glasgow, Martin Bacoli. Martin, first of all, delighted to be in Los Angeles. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay, and uh, I'm ready to go Saturday night. Nice to meet you. It's, uh, it's strange, obviously, because you've been spoke about so much in boxing, but you're an, the unknown quantity. Eddie Hearn said yesterday, no one knows anything about you. Have you got a chin? Can you punch hard? No one knows these questions. Are you going to answer all these questions on Saturday night, Martin? Yeah, I'm here to answer all the questions because I'm fighting the big flags for home. So I think uh, uh, I'm ready to show the world now who's Martin Bacoli. And after Saturday night, people will go and check who's Martin Bacoli. Let me, let me run it back to the very beginning, right? So when you first met Billy Nelson, talk to me about that experience and what made you want to sign with Billy as a manager and trainer? Yeah, the first time I met him, uh, I came to spot. Uh, he used to have a, a, a big summer, a Simon, was a causeway. So uh, that time I was uh, you know, small everywhere, and he called me down to spot him, and uh, I went down. I was free agent, so you know when I went down, I saw how he's treating his boxer, how he's you know he's friendly with the boxer, and I feel I love it, and I feel love with that, and uh, I asked his number, and I was shocked. And uh, for the first time, someone gave me gift of a gloves. So the Bill Nelson gave me a gift. I said, well, I was touched by that. And uh, I was having six months visa because that time I came to, with my brother who was fighting Tony Yoka, uh, Tony Bellu that day. So I went back home and then I said, no, uh, I wanted to go back to South Africa, but I said, no, there's no more boxing in South Africa, especially everywhere. Then I decided to call Billy and ask him if he is okay to work with me, he said, yeah, it's okay, so looking forward to it. And he sent me everything, document, and I applied for visa. I come to Scotland until today. Well, what's it like working with Billy on a day-to-day -day basis? Does he instill you with the belief that you can get to the very top of this heavyweight division? No, no, it's really is like a daddy to me. You know, the first thing I like is the way he's treating people. So it's nice with everyone. And, uh, if he doesn't know anything, he want to learn, he's a fast learn. And uh, we have a good communication. You know? And I respect him as a dad, and he respects me as a son. So that's the first thing, except boxing. And I like, that's why I see even people talking, I don't want to leave him, but we work hard together. We share everything together. That's why I see until today, until we be a number one, maybe holding all the four belt with the Bill Nessa. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about Jared Anderson and what he brings on Saturday night because Martin with all due respect a lot of people in America maybe don't know Martin Bacoli they certainly are overlooking you they believe this is going to be Jared Anderson he's going to walk through another opponent then we're going to see someone else next you're going to put a stop to that in your mind on Saturday night what what do you know about Jared Anderson and what do you need to do to beat him on Saturday night uh, to be honest I know nothing about uh, uh, my opponent uh, he never, my, my, that's my opinion, he never fight someone like uh, Martin Bacoli. So this is a big fight for him, so, because I don't scared of anybody. I will always be ready to face anyone. And uh, I'm seeing his, uh, you know, all the ranking, he never fight someone in top level. They give him hard time. So I think he's going to, I don't know, he's going to get a, a fight. I don't think he will sleep that day because he will get beat of his life. He never, even in Spain, he will never get beat like that. So I'm looking forward to see what he's going to bring as a man. Uh, I think even his trainer in the corner knows who's Martin Bacoli because he saw me spying uh, Tyson Fury and uh, Joseph Parker, the big baby, baby Muller, same night. So he saw me take all these four everywhere the same night. He knows who is this boy going to face on Saturday night. So I'm looking forward to see what he's going to bring back. In terms of you, Martin, Eddie said last night to Turkey LL Sheik, I'm sure you've seen it, he said, I, I think you, you've made a mistake. Uh, he believes that you could be a banana skin for Jared Anderson. Do you believe that, that you, you are going to be a banana skin for Jared Anderson and why? Uh, I don't believe that because that is his own mind and his own opinion. So I think maybe he's ready and he worked hard for this. Maybe it will surprise everyone, but 
I'm not surprised. You know, American people, you know, especially American boxers, like to talk too much because they believe in themselves. That's the good, he's believing in himself, he's still young, but it uh, doesn't bo never bother me. I know he's a real season, so ambassador. So you have to talk like that, so to impress, you know, uh, Turkish al Assad. So uh, I'm sorry if I said his name, you no, know, you know, his uh, excellency, I respect his name, but it's very difficult to pronounce. Sometimes my, my English, I'm still learning every day. So uh, I'm looking forward to see it, and uh, everyone will see it on Saturday night. I want to ask you a question about your sparring. I spoke to Billy before, and he said that you beat Daniel Dubois up in sparring. He said that not only did you beat Daniel Dubois up, you gave a really good spar against Anthony Joshua. Talk to me about your experience of, of those two in spar. Yeah, you know, uh, it is sometimes I feel bad when I was talking about sparring because it's uh, some stuff like you need to stay in the gym. But some, and sometimes I have to because I'm living in the UK. It's eight years now I'm living in the UK. And this, all these top guys there in the UK, they don't want to fight me. I'm be calling them out. Nobody comes say, yes, I want to fight Mati Bakole. Example, small example, no, Chizora, uh, Uzi, uh, Chizora, uh, George, uh, George Joyce. Frank won't come and call us and say, are you ready to fight George Joyce? I say, yes. I was in the Congo. I was never even training. I said, yes, uh, I'll fight him. And they go to George Joyce and say, no. He pick up Chizora. Look what happened, the result. <laughs> they are scared because they know who's Martin Bacole in spying. But uh, don't judge me wrong because I have to sell myself. You mention something here that... I'm in America, nobody knows Martin Bacoli because I'm in the UK and the UK is you know, everywhere. They don't want to give me that big opportunity to sell myself out there because they know what I've been doing to them in spying. So that's the reason why me and my coach, we come now out to tell everyone the story and why they're avoiding me. Because if they say to, yes to fight me, I was not going to talk about spying because I can stay in the gym. What happened with Daniel Dubois on the spar? I broke his nose twice and uh, stopped him. So. That's not a lie because you'll never come say, no, I'm lying. Joe Joe's the same. You see the video I posted. So I can't do it. I'm feeling bad to post some stuff like that because it can happen to me as well in spying in the camp. But that's the only, please don't judge me wrong. That's the only way I can sell myself. With the Anthony Joshua spar, how, how, did, how do you kind of evaluate Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois? That's big, big, big. But the first time I went to spar uh, Anthony Joshua, there was a lot of people in the gym. And uh, when I jump in, the first four round, and the coach take everyone out and they shut the door. And I was surprised next day, when I came for sparring, there was nobody in the gym. Closed the door, only me and Joshua. Eight round, that was it. Good, you can ask Eddie Hen was there. That was a fight. How did it go? Oh, 50-50 that day. Well, that was a fight. And Anton Joshua come and check my hand. He said, yo, I never get spine like this. And his coach decided to send some spine partner away and leave only two persons because there was more fight. Because they know I'm giving him a hard time. But that time, I was wanted to sell my name. But I can't say yes now to go and spy him anymore. No, I'll, not, I'll never spy it again in the uh, in a, in a UK or all this top guy. In terms of that fight, do you believe Anthony Joshua beats Daniel Dubois? Easy. Easy. Dubois has got hard, but Joshua has got more experience. And uh, Dubois can't take the punch. So uh, how was your spars with Tyson Fury and Joseph Parker? That's beautiful. Tyson Fury, beautiful spine. And uh, even you ask him himself, it's beautiful 50 50. Everything perfect. It's like a similar movement, punching, everything is perfect. I'm learning a lot when I spot Tyson Fury. I'll better spot, uh, fight, uh, spot Tyson Fury than others. Martin, last question from me. When I spoke to Billy Nelson, he said you're the chairman of the Who Needs Me Club because everyone avoids you. Is this your chance on Saturday night to put an end to the avoiding, to show Martin Bacoli is going to come out on top against Jared Anderson and really force some of these big fights? Yeah, that's a Billy Nelson no reason. And... Uh, uh, it's right to say that because we've been calling people out for the fight, they never respond. So it doesn't mean that they're avoiding me. But I was surprised by Anderson saying yes to fight me. And I said good luck to him. He's a man. A man does the, you know, that's what we want and the fans want to see the fight like that. Give us a prediction. How does it end? Uh, I will win the fight. Knockout. No matter who knockout points, Mazenbako is going to win the fight like he always do. 
always fight outside the country. I went to Paris, I went to Poland, so I always win the fight. Martin McCauley, it's a pleasure on IFL TV and I look forward to speaking to you again. And I know Andrew McCart will be watching this at home and he'll be gutted he's not speaking to you. All right, thank you so much. Andy. <laughs>